Here's something special. Recently I was bitten by the black powder bug once more and now want to get back into muzzleloading. Since Canadian law treats reproductions of muzzleloading handguns the same way as modern handguns with all the restrictions, I became interested in antique pistols. So I found this one here, a model 1842 percussion pistol by Henry Aston and Ira N. Johnson of Middletown, Connecticut. These were made between 1845 and 1852 so they coexisted with early percussion revolvers. It has a round smooth bore barrel in 54 caliber. It's made in 1850, as you can see by the marking here. On the side it says 1851, so I guess that maybe the barrel was made towards the end of the year and the lock a little later. The condition is about average. The hardwood is a little beat up on one side, but it has no cracks. There is some rust and black stains on the lock and barrel, but not bad for a 165 year old pistol. The mechanism works fine and it's got one heck of a heavy trigger pull, typical for old handguns. The bore is rough unfortunately, with noticeable rust and pitting. And this is already after I gave it a first cleaning. That is of course not good for accuracy. Not as problematic as in a rifled barrel I suppose, but not exactly ideal. You know me, I'm a practical guy and I'm more interested in trying things out rather than just looking at them. So I picked this pistol partly because it's pretty common and does not have very high collector's value compared to many others. I wouldn't be comfortable shooting a rare piece in pristine condition that would lose value from use. To make sure that it's safe, I checked the barrel inside and out and looked for any cracks in the material, but I also brought it to a professional gunsmith to take a look. He confirmed that it's safe, especially considering how thick the barrel is. So I did take this old lady to the range, which you'll see at the end of the video. Unfortunately, the weather was terrible, heavy rain and wind that kept messing with the targets. From what I can tell it shoots very high and left, but it was not easy to see. Next time on the better conditions I'll have to shoot it from a bench at a large steady target to see how it performs. The nipple works fine, it's dark but otherwise in good condition. I had to get musket caps since Remington number 10 or 11 caps are too small to fit on it. I got .535 round lead balls because I read that the bore diameter on Aston pistols tends to run large. The balls are small enough to slide right in, but with the prelude 0.15 inch thick patches I have, they fit very tightly. Too tightly, in fact. It was quite difficult to ram them down, especially with this ramrod. I also made paper cartridges, but the paper around the ball was too much, so that didn't work out too well. Seems like I should get a slightly smaller diameter. The captured ramrod is a good concept for making sure that it's not lost, especially on a ship or on horseback, but it does make it a bit more fiddly. Okay, enough talk, let's get to the actual shooting. Enjoy the thunderous boom of good old black powder. I 
think for this one, I'm actually going to try it with just the ball and a little bit of paper to make sure it doesn't roll out. Because the ball size is definitely pretty substantial. Yeah. It's definitely it's larger than it needs to be. My balls are just too big. It's true. Oh, God. True story, bro. You, you never quite know with the old ones because the floor size might not be entirely precise. So I'm just going to plot it with some paper, see how that goes. Oh, yeah. Seems that seems to go a little bit easier. <laughs> For sure. I love that he's totally overexposed right now because the sun suddenly came out. Yeah. Heavy. There you go. Anybody saw if I hit the thing? Um, Negative. couldn't tell. Okay. The British don't have style. <laughs> <laughs> that from a Canadian. I think the Queen would be high, highly not amused. I'm half British. I know I'm right. It works. I've seen my father. Nope, didn't see a thing. Nothing? I have no idea where you are. Nada. You might want to put music over this section of the recording. <laughs> you just talk too much, you have two chatterboxes. <laughs> cheat, 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 cheat. Yes, that is true. 